Hi, this is James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada, and with 5-Minute Music Theory, let's begin the 5-Minute Timer. This is a video on what are known as octave registers. I'll just write that right here. Octave registers. So if you watched the last video, it covered what is known as the grand staff, which is a combination, uh, sort of a hybrid clef between the, uh, or consisting of a treble and a bass clef together. And if you remember, there were some notes that were represented more than once, or some letters, I mean, that were represented more than once. I'll write a few of those here. For example, these right there. I've written four notes, two in bass clef, two in treble clef. Every single one of these notes is referred to using the letter C, which can get a little bit confusing because they all have the same name. So in order to designate which C is which, we use these octave registers. So register is a term that has to do with the pitch, the highness or the lowness of the sound. There was a previous video on pitch if you want to go check that out. Octave has to do with, uh, if you know your roots, oct has to do with eight. An octave is the distance of eight notes. And if you know the musical alphabet, which is also covered in an earlier video, we only have seven letters. So once you get past seven and you reach the eighth, you've started repeating. Uh, like, for example, if we started with C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, eighth. We, uh, once we reach that eighth note, we start repeating again. So every time you've reached an octave, you're recycling these letters. Now, octave registers, let me erase that term there, and let's go ahead and cover what these are. First, I'm going to show you what the octave register designations would be of these. We have a C3, two C4s, and a C5. The numbers have to do with the pitch level, with the register. The C just always means that it's the pitch C. Notice that the lower the register number is, the lower it is on the staff, and hence the lower the pitch. Uh, every time that we reach a C, that number changes. It's weird, it almost seems like it should be A because we're used to the alphabet um, starting at A, but really, even though technically it starts at A, our musical alphabet really begins at C because it's at these C's where these numbers change. So in order to show you how this works, I'm gonna write a whole bunch of notes. I'm gonna see if I can talk while I'm doing this at the same time. I'm gonna start with that C3, which I didn't need to erase that I just did erase. But I'm going to write a whole bunch of notes all the way up to that C4 that I just wrote. Then we'll write the C4. Not the clearest, but you kind of see what uh, I'm getting at here, hopefully. This, like that. All right, so good. You can see all of those. So again, this was a C3 down here. This next pitch up is a D, and since it's in the same octave register as this C3, the C3 is where the third octave register begins. And actually, let's go ahead and write a brace here to show which notes all belong to that third octave register. So once we've reached that C, any note that is past the C in that musical alphabet until we reach another C all belong to the same register, E3, F3, so on and so forth. Those are all threes. The next time we change the number is when we reach a new C, which is C4. All of these notes, which remember this is also a C4, these are actually exactly the same pitch, literally the same pitch in treble and bass clef. So you can sort of see where the pitches actually lie in these, these um, clefs. So this would be a D4, E4, F4, so on, so forth. This would be a B4, and then we reach another C. Every time you reach a C when you're going up, the number changes. So this would be a C5. The, om the really important things to remember about octave registers, a couple of things. First, this C that fits right in the middle of the staff is C4, also referred to as middle C. Once we talk about the piano keyboard in a video soon to come, you'll learn why this is called middle C. Um, and actually, you can kind of see it here in the treble and the bass clef grand staff combination here that it's right in the middle of that grand staff. C4 is the one right in the middle, and then every time you reach a C when you're going up, the numbers change. This gets a little complicated when you're coming down, because like if you're coming down from the fifth register, we'd go D5, C5, 
and then we go to B4 because it's at those C's when we're going up. So there will be some supplementary videos to uh, sort of hopefully uncomplicate this a little bit because it can be a little bit tough at first to uh, conceptualize this. But basically that's it on octave registers. Thank you.